Hi, good morning. My name is Neil Murray. I'm the owner and coach of Kiddies Rapid Training. Today we'll be doing a couple of exercises. First we're going to start off with a warm-up, then uh, some strengthening exercises, and uh, we're going to end off with a couple of core skills with this rugby ball. Okay. The one here next to me standing here is uh, Leo Morris. He's the one who's helping me today to do take the videos. Thank you very much and enjoy. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a quick warm up with the ball uh, just to get the feel of it. And uh, yes, so you ready? Alright, uh, go. Yes, throw the ball in the air, take it around the body without dropping it, touching the ball, ball the whole way, hold the ball in both hands, throw it again, and then go the other way around the body like this. As you can see, around the body, around the waist, let's do it again, and throw the ball, eyes on the ball, very important. Catch the ball in both hands and take it around the body like this, around the waist, as you can see, without dropping it. And then do it, to, do it five times. Around the waist again, just to get the feel of the ball. There you go. And one more time. There you go, around the waist again. Right, perfect. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to do a quick warm-up. Um, all you need here is uh, four markers where you can just mark out the four corners. It's just basically a uh, warm-up exercise. So what's going to happen is you're going to go, you're going to run to the next marker, run, go, run. Then just skip to the side, skip, 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 skip. Run backwards and then skip to the other side. Okay. Please, no corner cutting, do it, run towards each marker, skip towards each marker, and then you have it. Okay, what's going to happen now is when I say go, you go earlier, uh, ready, and go. Right, one, go. Two, go. Don't cut your corners, don't cut your corners, Leo, don't cut your corners. Four. Start at your marker, start at the first marker, don't cut the corners. Five. Well done, well done, well done, well done, high five. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do three strengthening exercises. First, we're going to start off with our uh, squat. Then we're going to do some uh, star jumps. And then we're going to end off with a couple of push-ups. So what we're going to basically do is we're going to do leg exercises and some arm exercises. Right, so what we're going to do is now is I want you to... Uh, first thing what you need to do is you need to stand uh, shoulder width apart with your feet. Hold the ball in front of you, straight arms. Like this. Toes facing forward. Like this, Leo. Toes facing forward. Right. Do a squat. You're going to hold the ball in front of you like this. And then you're going to just bend your knees. Keep your back straight. Please remember, uh, parents, that you need to pay attention to keep your child's back straight. Go down and up. Down and up. Okay, right, keep your back straight. Right, you need balls to work on you, you balls. The ball must be in front of the chest like this. You don't have to give straight arms like that, just a little bend forwards, okay? Right, hold the ball, ready, and we're going to do eight of those. Ready, and one, two, three, four, five. Seven. Eight. Right. Well done. Perfect. Now we're going to go off to the star jumps. We're going to do ten of those. Ten star jumps. Ten star jumps. You ready, Leo? 
Ready and one, two. <laughs> right, we're going to try this again. Yogi, if you go, um, start in two. Put it Right, so we're going to do uh, uh, 10 star jumps now. You ready? Slowly. No need to be hasty. Okay, the <laughs> other And go. Yeah. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Stop. Well done. That's perfect. Leo, let's do it again quickly. I'm going to see you do it right. You do it right, you know, and go. Do this face. Yeah. Put it by my car here. Right, so, and in. In the corner. Two. Three. Look up the arm. Stop. Okay. What are you doing here? Start up here. Start up in case. Rock is a wound on. Get used to it. So fans, as you, if you struggle a little bit with the star jumps, let them start off slowly first. Let them just jump with the legs open and lift up their arms like this. When they get that position, they can just jump back slowly. Legs straight, arms down the side. And they can just do it again. Arms open, legs open, jump open, arms up and slowly back. And jump and slowly back. Just so they can get, get used to the star jumps. Okay, right, now we're going to do 10 push-ups. Right, um, so this is a difficult one. Um, always try to keep your child back and legs straight. Um, the hands must be also shoulder width apart. What you can do is when you tell them to do a push-up, you can just put your hands in front of them with their feet a little bit a little apart, like four or five inches away from each other. Then you can go down, lower your hands to the chest, and push yourself up. Bend your arms towards the chest, hands towards the chest, and push yourself up. That's a um, pretty uh, easy way to tell them to get used to the push-ups. Okay, please just remember, they must be on their toes. You can tell them the only body part that touches the ground when you do a push-up is your toes and your hands. Okay, right. So we're going to do 10 push-ups. You ready, Leo? Um, if you have, if you don't have markers or anything else, you can use a soft shoe or yeah, anything you have at, uh, at home which is soft, they can use to use a marker. Right, so you're going to put your hands on the side of the marker like this. See together. You up, keep your back and your legs straight, and then lower your chest down towards the marker. Look up in front of you. And then you keep your back and your legs straight. Bend your elbows and lower your chest down to the ground. Right, so we need do 10 of those. Ready? And one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Like that. Right, so what you can do is you can just swing your arms a little bit just to keep the muscles warm. And then backwards. And then swing your arms like this. So what we're going to do now is just a quick uh, throw and catch, just to get again to get the feel of the ball. Okay. Right, so basically what you're going to do is you just need two markers, uh, about two meters apart, or a meter, a meter and a half. And uh, face each other, what you're going to do is you can just going to throw the ball to each other. So, catch, throw, and catch. You do that about, that about also 10 times. Just again, just to get the feel of the ball. Alright, ready, go. Remember, very important to keep your eyes on the ball. And when you throw the ball to your teammates, you always aim for the tummy. Okay, very important, just remember to always tell your kids to catch the ball 
with your eyes on the ball and when you throw the ball to your teammate always aim for the tummy right eyes on the ball aim for a tummy eyes on the ball aim for a tummy that's it we don't want to drop the ball do you want to drop the ball no right Right, and perfect. Now we've got the feel of the ball and our eyes are into the ball now. Right, for a second to last exercise, what we're going to do here is we're going to do the swing pass. Okay, that's basically when you have the ball in both hands, you swing your arms towards your teammate, also aiming for a tummy. Okay, it's very important that you need to catch the ball into your hands. So please just try to put your hands in front of you like this. Chest, tummy height. When you pass the ball, you can catch the ball into your hands like this. Okay, pass the ball to Leo. Hands in front of me, like in front of you, like this, and pass. You catch a ball with your both hands, and then you just pass the ball back. That's a swing pass. Okay, pass. Aim for a tummy. Swing your arms and pass. Hold the ball in both hands, like this. Swing your arms and aim for a tummy and pass the ball. Also remember that you need to always, when you pass the ball towards your teammate, you need to let your hands face towards your teammate. Don't let your hands face somebody, somewhere else because if you face your, ha face your hands to the other side or behind him or in front of him, he's going to pass the ball that way. Okay, so always remember that you need to uh, catch all the ball in both hands. When you swing your arms, you make, your, make sure that the hands are facing your teammate. All the ball in both hands like this. Swing your arms. See where my hands are pointing now. Catch the ball. Swing your paws. Catch the ball. Swing pass, right. Remember the hands in front of you, pass the ball quickly. Pass, catch, pass, pass, catch, pass, pass, catch. Always keep your eyes on the ball with your hands in front of you. Swing your arms and catch the ball. Well done. Right, let's start from that side. Right, so that is called the swing pass. Uh, what you need here is also a couple of markers. If you don't have markers, you can use anything like a string uh, or a rope just to get your line so, you, so the kid, so the child knows where to run. And uh, you can do that about six times, back and forth, um, just to get used to the swing pass. Also, you can start off by just swinging the arm first before you move or run. And uh, yes. That's a swing pass. Right, for our last exercise, what we're going to do now is we're going to stand there by two markers. Me at the orange marker, Leo by the blue marker. Way on this side, there's the red marker about 10 meters apart, 10 meters in length. So what's going to happen now is he's going to stand by the blue, I'm going to stand by the orange. Then, this is a very good exercise for, for them to run and keep their eyes on the ball and to scoop the ball up from the ground. So what's going to happen basically is it's a run and chase. Um, so I'm going to have the ball, when I say go to Leo, he's going to go, I'm going to throw the ball and it's going to roll and bounce like a grubber and then his job is to catch the ball before it passes the red marker and to keep his eyes on the ball or try to scoop it up from the ground. Remember when you try to scoop the ball up from the ground, use both hands. Very, very important still is to keep your eyes on the ball. Okay, right, let's go.
Nice. What you do, keep your eyes on the ball, run, chase, and scoop the ball up from the ground. Okay, right, let's try again. Okay, you go Alright, let's go. That's a chase and pick up, grubber. Um, you can do that six times. Um, remember, it depends on which grass you are. The ball will be slower. Sometimes the ball will be faster. Sometimes the ball will bounce unexpectedly. That's what a grubber is. You don't know when the ball is going to bounce or which way it's going to go. Usually when we uh, learn and teach coach children how to catch the ball, we always ask them first, what does this ball look like? Leah, what does this ball look like? It looks like a big egg. Okay. Now usually we don't want to drop an egg because the egg will break. Um, now we ask them, what does a bird lay its egg? And what does a bird lay its egg, Leo? In a? In a nest. So usually when they tell us in a nest, then we ask them, all the children, to make a nest like this. So please make a nest like that. Please, parents, just pay attention. When they make a nest, they don't put their arms against each other like this. Just away from each other like that. Not too wide, otherwise the ball will go through. Just like this, not hands against each other, fingers open, arms like this, as you can see. Then, if they catch the ball, that's the first step. The first step is to make a nest like that, make a nest. The second step is, when you catch the ball, you need to close your nest. Right, that's the first two steps. The third step, I always tell children, is very, very important, and they must always remember it, is to keep your eyes on the ball. Always keep your eyes on the ball or the egg. You don't want to drop the egg. Okay, so you're going to keep make a nest, All right, keep your eyes on the ball, and then you close your nest, that's it. That's the three steps to catch the ball. The first step is make a nest, second step is close the nest, the third step is always keep your eyes on the ball. I want to say thank you very much to each of all the parents, um, I hope the video helped you a little bit a lot, uh, and uh, enjoy.